Hey, Teresa, you know, I was thinking about everything that we need, the Lord has provided. Yes, it's there yes. in our relationship with him. Yes. And uh, many years ago, when I say many years ago, we were brand new in the ministry, yeah. just out of college a couple months, and we were at our first church on staff, and we went to a conference mm -hmm. right here with the Assembly Churches in Pennsylvania to Lancaster, a beautiful yep. resort. You remember that? Yep, it was called the Host Resort. Oh, that was it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to remember the name yeah. of that. And, you know, so we were registered. Yeah. The pastor said, you know, you need to go, got to go. It was in the fall, mm -hmm. yeah, because we just yeah. came out of college that summer. And so we go to the conference, and it's at a beautiful hotel. And, well, you can tell what happened there yeah, a little we, bit. Yeah, and we had little money, really, because I think back then when we came out of college, I think we made $135 a week, so we had very I little money. I thought it money. was $125, maybe. Whatever, it wasn't Whatever. much. And uh, so we went to this, you know, they took us there. They said, go. We had our hotel room. They gave us really, I don't think, any money for food, and that was the problem. We didn't really think we had any money for food. So at the hotel, and there's the sessions yes. of the conference, mm -hmm. and we, we saw other pastors and everyone eating in the beautiful hotel dining room, mm -hmm. white tablecloths. Yeah. And we were, like, walking out into Route 30 there and trying to find something to eat, probably at a fast food restaurant exactly. or something. We exactly. were just trying to make it work. Uh -huh. And later, by the end uh, of the conference... Uh, I remember, yeah, fast food. I even remember this. Remember Ponderosa? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. get a cheap little steak, Ponderosa, yeah. whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we, at the end of the conference, learned that it was all-inclusive. Everything was taken care of. Yes. Of course, mm -hmm. the sessions and the hotel and also the meals, every We're meal in the beautiful dining room. Right. But we didn't enjoy we that. we didn't know it. Because we didn't know what we had. And so... Mm -hmm. I want to tie this in to a famous story. It's not a children's story, and sometimes we re relegate yeah. that. David and Goliath when he faces the giant. And I had the privilege and blessing of being in Israel uh, in 2014, and we passed by. I wish we could have spent time, but we got to see it, the Valley of Elah. Yeah. And that is the valley where David and the armies of Israel faced the Philistines and the giant Goliath. Yeah. And David, a teenager, absolute teenager, shepherd boy, he goes to visit his brothers. They don't want to see the kid brother. Yeah. And we know the story. But he says to King Saul, as he sees the giant over nine feet tall, a warrior, a champion, defying the Lord God, defying God, he is cursing the Lord of heaven, yeah. the creator of heaven and earth, and cursing the armies of Israel. Mm -hmm. And David says, yeah. won't anyone go out there? He says, I will go out there. And so Saul puts the armor on him, and David says, this doesn't work. And finally, David goes out to face the mm -hmm. giant, yeah. and he picks up so, some stones, four stones. stones. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a number of things to that. Goliath had four giant brothers. But David picks up the stones, and, and, and he puts them in his pouch. And we think yeah. the miracle is just that he killed the giant. That's yeah. a miracle. Yep. Yes, it is. We have some giants mm -hmm. in our life. We're facing some giants in our world. You're facing personal giants. This is spiritual warfare. But that's not the first miracle and the greatest miracle. I like this part, and that's what we need to see. Everything we have is taken care of in our relationship with the Lord. David said to the giant, you come at me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come at you in the name of the Lord our God, Almighty God. He came with confidence. Mm -hmm. And any shepherd could sling a stone David already said, hey, I'm prepared. I've mm -hmm. killed a lion and a bear. This is my training. This is who I am. This is what I can do. But his confidence was in the Lord, his relationship mm -hmm. with the Lord. Everything he needed was in the living God. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I don't want us to see today. Everything, when you have a relationship with, relationship, excuse me, with the Lord, it's all provided for. Yeah. God's taking care of it. So my question is, where are you going to throw your stone today? Pick up your stone there, babe. Where are you going to throw your stone? <laughs> Worry, anxiety, fear? Is it a physical situation, a physical attack? Are you facing challenges in your marriage? Mm -hmm. You're going to throw a stone. This is spiritual warfare. The devil wants to really do some nasty deeds in our world today. Mm -hmm. He's coming against our freedoms, our spiritual freedom. He wants to harass us with worry and, and just a heaviness. Come on, let's pick up some stones. Let's throw some stones. Let's kill some giants today. In the name of Jesus. In the yeah. name of Jesus. And you do that with the word of God. Amen. He's the weapon. Amen.
Yeah. We come at you in the name of the Lord, our God. God bless you. See you Sunday.